Hello and welcome back to yet another video. Jason Tatum is quickly becoming an NBA legend, but there is still a lot you don't know about him, such as when an NBA player compelled him to break the law, or his life-threatening condition. Here are 10 facts about Jason Tatum that you probably didn't know. Number 1. Tatum's Teacher in 4th Grade Tatum was a lot like the rest of us when he was younger. He adored basketball and aspired to play in the NBA one day until Tatum's fourth grade teacher shattered his hopes. Fourth grade, the teacher told us to write a paragraph on what they want to be when they get older. What they want to do when they get older. She came around me and I was like, I want to be in the NBA. I want you all to see me on TV. She looked at me and said, you gotta pick something realistic. I remember everybody in the class kind of laughed at me and I felt so embarrassed. I remember I was crying. On the other hand, Tatum's parents instantly started preparing him for the NBA, which is how he got into the league. Number 2. Tatum's Father's Training Tatum's parents were already prepping him to be a basketball champion in 5th grade, telling him that one day he'd be one of the finest players in the NBA. When it came to training, his father was merciless. I used to practice with him 4-5 to five times a week and he would treat me like I was in high school. If I messed up, he was harder on me than he was on the other kids and I used to cry every day on the way home. I almost decided to quit basketball because of him. Tatum didn't realize it at the time, but his father was gently molding him into the best basketball player in his age group, and Tatum was already dominating at the age of 11. Tatum was averaging over 25 points per game and dunking on players three times his age, with his first victim being his father. Number 3. Did Tatum do something illegal? He was on his way to the NBA until an NBA player forced him to do something unlawful. When Tatum's mother wasn't yet grooming him for the NBA, it all started with that. She was a volleyball team member and she and her coach Besta Beal became great pals. Besta also had a son, Bradley Beal, and although he was 5 years older than Tatum, the two became great friends. We grew up in the same neighborhood. He was like 4 minutes from my crib so I had a perfect role model and visualization of where I wanted to go and where I wanted to be. Everything appeared to be well until Beal persuaded Tatum to breach the law. Tatum was learning firsthand what is required to go to the NBA at the time because Beal had just been picked, but because Tatum was so young, Beal pressured Tatum into doing things he wasn't legally allowed to do. Tatum eventually learned the hard way. Brad was the first person to take me to the club when I was 16. He took me to the club a couple of times. Number 4. Tatum being a Celtic Tatum's worst nightmare came true when the night came for his dreams to come true. Tatum arrived on draft night with eager anticipation, awaiting his name being called because not only had he worked his entire life for this moment, but he also had the chance to be selected by his dream team. So the picks began to roll in one by one. With the first pick, the Philadelphia 76ers select Markel Fultz. With the second pick, the LA Lakers select Lonzo Ball. But what happened next completely devastated Tatum. With the third pick in the 2017 NBA Draft, the Boston Celtics select Jason Tatum from Duke University. Tatum was a Celtic and while he appeared happy at the time, he felt empty on the inside. My favorite player and my idol were Kobe, and everybody knew that. I was not fond of the Celtics at all. Growing up, I was like, I want to play for the Lakers. On the other hand, Tatum accepted his new team and pledged to give the Celtics his best. Number 5. Interaction with Michael Jordan Despite his rapid rise to fame, he was about to experience the most embarrassing event of his life. Tatum began his NBA career by signing his own Nike contract, and his achievements caught the attention of NBA veterans within two years. Michael Jordan wanted to negotiate a sneaker contract with Tatum's agency one day. It was a no-brainer decision. We took a trip to Monte Carlo in Paris this summer, and that was kind of like my introduction to Jordan's brand, to the world, and meeting all the guys. What could go wrong with a vacation to Paris, a multi-million dollar signature shoe contract, and hanging out with Michael Jordan? While becoming a terrific player, Tatum was still a child, so nerves kicked in, and things got a little embarrassing one night when he pulled up for supper. Then at night we had a dinner. Everybody was there so I remember I'm still nervous so I walk in, MJ is sitting down with his wife next to him. Then I walk over to him and my hands start sweating and I was like, what's up Mike? When I went to go shake his hand, I knocked over his wine glass on the table and it broke. Number 6. Jason Tatum Jr. 
Jason Tatum Jr. aka Deuce looks quite an innocent child. He's a cute little monster to be sure. Deuce is frequently seen with Tatum at games and post-game interviews, but things have been becoming heated behind the scenes, and one of Tatum's teammates is paying the consequences. It's been kept a secret, but Deuce couldn't stop when he arrived at the courtside to watch his father play and attack. Deuce is always trying to attack me any time I come around him and that's just who he is. We all love Deuce and he's our guy, so we'll take it. Number 7. Pre-game Routine Tatum has watched the best players since he began playing basketball, and one thing he's observed is that they all have a pre-game routine. Dwayne Wade's rim pull-ups, Steph Curry's tunnel shots, and LeBron's chalk toss. Tatum knew he needed a pre-game ritual if he ever wanted to get on their level, but as a middle schooler he didn't have many choices until he and his grandmother came up with one. Tatum admitted, I've done it since middle school with my grandma, and it's something that's carried till now. It just wouldn't feel right if I didn't do it before every game. I look up into the stands and I find my grandma. We look for each other before the game, when we make eye contact, I tug on my ear and she'll do the same. It's basically something to let each other know it's time to go out there and give it my all. Number 8. Is his hair cursed? We've seen Tatum rock an almost bald haircut throughout his career, but out of nowhere he appeared on the NBA bubble and stated, new pandemic, new me, revealing his new curls, but he was mocked for it. Someone compared Tatum to a mix of James Harden and Trey Young. Even NBA legends joined in on the fun. Tatum now jokes about it on Twitter, but the cyberbullying worked because he wanted his old hair back. But before he had a chance, his family persuaded them to keep it for a game or two, and things went ugly in the first game. Not only did the Celtics lose, but Tatum played the worst game of his career, and he knew it was all due to his hair at the time. And are you curious as to what happened next? Tatum scored 34 points the next game after cutting his hair. Number 9. Effects of COVID on Tatum's Stamina People worldwide were affected by the virus, and Tatum was one of the unlucky NBA players. When he became ill, the consequences were so severe that they completely altered his life. Not only was he forced out of the NBA for weeks, but he never fully recovered. COVID lowered Tatum's stamina, and he struggled with shortness of breath. Ever since he got back into the game, he hasn't felt the same, so he was forced to make a lifestyle change. Number 10. Tatum's Ultimate Role Model One guy inspired Tatum more than anyone else when he was a kid. When I was like 4 or 5, my mom always asked me what I wanted to be when I got older. I always said, I want to be Kobe. She said, you want to be in the NBA? I said, no, I want to be Kobe. One guy inspired Tatum more than anyone else when he was a kid. When Tatum finally met his idol, Kobe gave him some advice he would remember for the rest of his life. Tatum has been obsessed with Kobe ever since that day. When Tatum first entered the NBA, it was clear that he'd spent decades watching Kobe Bryant. He wears Kobe shirts to the games. During games, Tatum can be seen imitating Kobe's motions and shooting the identical shots. Tatum began wearing an armband in honor of Kobe, and as he grew in popularity, he drew the notice of the icon himself.